Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm gonna try to straighten up this screen, but I'm glad you're all here. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out my long-term overview of the Brian Brown Jaeger M. If you are so inclined and have the time, please hit that subscribe button down below. It will notify you if you hit the bell icon when I release new videos. It will also let you know when I go live on live streams. And it also helps me get my videos out to people who might not otherwise see them. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and I'll keep bringing you great content or my best content, whether you do or you don't. So this is the Brian Brown Jaeger and they came out with this knife Right around a year ago, I'll say, um, sometime in the 10 to 12 months ago when these dropped, and there were a lot of different variations, um, came from different dealer exclusives. This is the EDC Specialties uh, exclusive that came with titanium, uh, blackout blade, uh, micarta inlays. There is black hardware that's coming from Riot. I purchased this knife from a local buddy here who works at St. Nick's Knives. He had two of these. He wasn't sure which one he was gonna keep, the EDC Specialties or his Knife Joy, and he kept his Knife Joy and had this flipperless, which this is the flipperless, which is the one I was after. They make it both with a flipper and a deployment hole or just a deployment hole. And when I have the opportunity, if it's a deployment hole knife, just because of the way I like to grip the knives as close to the blade as I can, where it's comfortable, by not having that flipper there. It just works really well. So the Brian Brown Jaeger M. This is a knife I had lusted after for a very long time. It's a knife that when it got into my collection, I was uh, very excited. I carry it all the time. I still carry it. If not weekly, I carry this knife bi-weekly. I take it out, and when I'm watching live streams, I will use this knife either to open packages or more importantly, just to sit around and fidget with it, to play with it. It never comes off center. It does not have skiffs in it. I do have some skiffs for it, but I have not felt like they needed to go in it yet because the knife is very, very sturdy. When you look inside this knife, I don't know why it flashes under the camera, but if you can see that weight relief, which is my light's not on strobe. So there is some good weight relief inside there in the titanium. You can see Brian Brown's logo right there. The blade is done very sterile, very black, nothing, no blade markings, no, uh, you know, nothing to take away from what I think is the beauty of this Warncliffe blade. Um, so when I talk about and think about the Brian Brown Jaeger, in my hand, it is definitely a medium sized knife. So if I wanna use the regular grip, I can get four fingers in there. I can work with the knife. I can cut with the knife. I've got a full four finger grip. Well, if I wanna use the Choil, if you want to call it that. I call it a choil. It works for me. It's more than just a sharpening choil. But if I want to get up closer on the knife, I've still got really good purchase on this grip. I like the fact that this knife does not have jimping. It's more to me a gentleman's folder. It has a nice flat here that comes down to a nice swedge, comes down to a real sharp and acute point, hollow ground blade, drops off to a real thin behind the edge. We'll get some measurements and cut some paper here in a second. But micarta inlays, titanium raw and titanium backspacer. A fantastic clip that goes in and out of the pocket very well. Um, the knife is just, guys, I have a lot of knives and this knife is definitely in my top five. Um, I like it that much. But let me grab a piece of paper out of Cooper Digest here. I have a feeling this knife probably needs to be struck. No. That hollow ground M360 just does a great job. 
Cut it over there. Yikes. Very slicey knife. I can tell you it works very well with cardboard, works very well with wood. This blade has got, I don't know what type of DLC coating, but it's very tough. Um, you know, I've got snail trails pretty much all over the knife because I do carry my knives. I think it just adds character to them. The blade has cut through a lot, but I'm not seeing any natural markings there. I think it's just a, a, a nice wearing knife. Um, I think it's up for the challenge, both to be a gentleman's carry, a uh, more, what do you want to call it, pocket jewelry type of carry, if you buy one of the nicer Damasteel or the more flashy ones with Tymascus. But they all break down to a very solid working knife. Um, this nice, very simple construction. Um, locks up like a tank. Um, has a great sharpening tool here. See that that does V in quite a bit, but where that choil stops, you know, it could be done better, but I think it'll, uh, I think it'll suit the purpose for a couple of good sharpenings. And that is the Brian Brown Jaeger EDC Specialties Edition. So let's get a few measurements, do a few size comparisons and see how this thing falls into place with some other knives we might know. So let's look at it next to the Cold Steel 4 Max. It's going to be much smaller than the 4 Max. Look at it next to the Civivi Baby Banter. It's going to be a good bit bigger than the Civivi Baby Banter. Let's check it out next to the Bitch Made Bug Out. Tad bit shorter than the bench made bug out, but around the same size length it is. And then the Spider Co Paramilitary 2, it's going to be a good bit shorter than. But when you look at overall thickness, it's going to come in line closer to the thickness of the Paramilitary 2, where the Spider Co um, bug out is going to be much thinner. But let's do a couple of quick measurements on this knife. I'm going to say. If I was just looking at the length of the knife, I would think it's about the same length as a bug out, even though we know it's a little bit longer than the bug out. And it's probably gonna be about twice as thick as a bug out, but it's a more hardy knife, I guess you'd say. So let's look at our cutting area first, right at three inches. Our overall blade is gonna come in at three and a quarter. Our handle is going to come in at right at about four, right under four and a half. So four and a half, we're gonna call that four and a half, and we're gonna call that three and a quarter, take that down. So it's gonna be about a right under an eight inch knife. And then the thickness, let's look at Grateful Panic's calipers here. So 0.56, just a little bit over half an inch on the handles, the blade stock. Point 0.15. Come down under that swedge, it's still gonna be 0 0.16, 0 0.15. And then down on the tip, I don't do thinness behind the edge because I'm not good at measuring that yet. It's like 0 0.017. 0 0.019, I don't know how accurate that would be, but you guys saw that it's pretty slicey. It cuts very well. Again, when it comes to knives in my collection, my number one is still my Leong Ma Field Duty. I love that knife. Um, the Brian Brown Jaeger is a knife I wanted for a really long time. I have absolutely no regrets. Um, if the right Brian Brown Jaeger came available again, would I get another one in addition to this one? 
if the timing was right, it's definitely a knife that's on my radar. I think that he does a great job with this knife. This particular knife speaks to me because of the type of blade, because of the action, which is just very spunky. I did not think I would be a black blade kind of colorway guy, but this knife has really kind of opened my eyes to a lot of different things. Um, and I owe it to this knife. So I'm a fan. I think it's a great knife. I would recommend it to anyone who's kind of on the fence between a Brian Brown Jaeger and a comparably priced knife, maybe from another maker. Um, Riot makes this knife, if I'm not mistaken, for Brian Brown. Uh, the design is great. The workmanship is great. The uh, materials are great. Yeah, I just can't say a lot of bad things about it, guys. Thank you for watching the video. These are my observations. They're purely subjective, except for the measurements, and those are actually pretty subjective because I don't really know how to read a tape. Please do subscribe to my channel if you so, dis so have the chance. Enter and climb because it does really help. The more people that subscribe, the better chances there are for people to see my videos and maybe find them entertaining. Maybe not, right? Big thing I ask is you look out for the guy or gal to your left. Look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate before hate. Till we meet again, which will be soon. I love y'all. Peace.